Hello everyone. Thank you, Mara. Um, so excited to be part of this panel and this event. Uh, you know, I'm going to share six minutes and six ideas. And more importantly, I'm looking forward to hearing more ideas from my fellow speakers. Uh, it's such a great uh, learning opportunity and digitally that too. So uh, the first idea, you know, when we talk about digital skills, future skills, it tends to give an impression that we're talking about skills that are going to be needed in future. Now, that's actually not true. Uh, these are the skills that we need today to create the future uh, that we are going to create or the future that is actually getting created. So we need to do something about it now, both as companies and individuals. The second one is, you know, just like there's half-life of carbon, there is half-life of skills. You know, 20, 25 years ago, one could work for 40, 45 years just with one major refresh of skills. So in a way, the half-life of, half of skill was about 20 years. Today, I think is about five years and it's getting shorter. So everybody must learn. And it really, when you talk about leadership, uh, it really has two aspects. The first aspect is, as a leader, what are you going to do for your team and what are you going to do for the company uh, so that people can keep learning as much as possible? However, there is one new meaning that has just come up, at least from my point of view, which is self-leadership. You know, we as individuals, no one actually must depend only on the company or their employer or their manager for learning. Just like we spend time and our money on recreation, vacation, and eating out, we must make learning a personal priority and spend time, I would say even our own money, continuously for, for learning. Uh, that you know, is really an imperative today. So half-life of skill is reducing and it must become a personal imperative in addition to, you know, even a bigger imperative for the companies. I think the third thing is digital learning, you know, our digital skills when we talk about, obviously they need to be delivered digitally, right? So uh, we at Tata Communications have taken a platform approach. Now platform, the meaning has been changing over the years. So uh, the platform that I'm talking about means it's intelligent. Uh, it is able to serve the right things to right people. Uh, it's able to guess who you are and serve you the right things. You know, your learning needs based on what your current or future needs are or future needs might be. Uh, it is able to hyper personalize for you. It is learning um, on a continuous basis so that it becomes better and better for you. Um, you know, it's got no controls, right? It's open. You can learn anything that you want, much like uh, you could want, you know, you could watch a program, any program on Netflix once you get uh, the subscription, right? Uh, the learning is in bits and bytes. Uh, you can, uh, you know, choose to stop and start whenever you want from anywhere. It's available 24 by 7 by 365, and you are learning all the time. What we have seen in the last three, four years is that people are learning at all types of hours and at all types of location, locations, not just what learning used to be, you know, typically at a workplace or in a, in a hotel or in a resort. Uh, and, you know, there must be self-developing communities. Somebody should be catalyzing it so that communities really create the magic. You know, no one person can create it. So to make all of this happen, this is really a product management job. And, you know, there, there needs to be more and more product managers in the people function in the company so that the right products can be created for the right, right impact. The, the second aspect of platform is that there must be consumer grade experience, right? So, um, most of the B2B products that are deployed in enterprises do not have or have not had, you know, consuming great experience. So 
uh, we are seeing the leading edge of that. Uh, and after implementing, what we have seen is the learning has gone through the roof, and people are just learning. And this has really created a change in the culture where it's really become a learning organization. And you know, it's it's, it's really developed the soul or a DNA of its own, and it's really doing well. The the fifth idea that I want to share is that when we talk about digital, when we talk about future, uh, we're not really serving the learning needs of today. We are serving the learning needs of the future, you know, which are going to create impact in the future. So how do you connect the dots in the future? You know, Steve Jobs talked about that, keep working on, keep moving on with trust and faith and do your best and the dots will get connected in the future. That's obviously you know, very, very true, but how do you take chances to create, um, you know, connect the dots in the future, which means, you know, one example that I'd like to share is how do you set out goals, you know, future roles with newer skills, set that out in the company. Uh, you know, it's like wash towers that you set up for the ships to sail towards it, right? So employees really start making the journeys uh, and make their best efforts to uh, to look at the roles. You know, by the time the role comes, they are ready for the roles. So that's really what I mean uh, by connecting dots in the future. And the last thing is, how do you measure it, right? So through all of this, what we have seen is that our learning days in the last four years have nearly trebled. They've gone from 3.5 days per employee per year to 10.4 days. And even before the pandemic began, we are delivering 90% of our training learning globally. And that's you know 12,000 employees in more than 40 countries. So those are the six ideas I wanted to share. And 